I wrote down the dogs and cats because, you know, we were, um, gosh, um, we lived in a basement and a um, house full of rats and roaches. We couldn't do much about the roaches, but um, at least the cats kept the um, rats at bay. There were five of us sleeping in a rollaway bed. Um, you know what that is? I, I think, you know, you fold it up. Uh, you, yeah, you fold it up at night and then you roll it out and um, that's opposite. You roll it out at night, then you fold it up at day. At day. So we um, had the dogs and cats. We always had dogs. My mother loved dogs, even um, till the day that she passed away. Um, so dogs and cats were really quite a part of our lives. Um, Sunday pancakes. I mean, I realize now that was not a good thing. It's not good for your health or your dental health at that. But we always look forward to having Sunday pancakes. And then the third thing was uh, we had a, uh, I call it a telephone line um, basketball court. It was a building and the telephone line ran uh, parallel to the building where it was spaced just miraculously enough away from the building that a basketball would, uh, would go in between it. So that was our little basketball court. And we played basketball uh, with that telephone line uh, as our basket. I was probably um, in the seventh grade or so, Norman, my brother Norman, I uh, got a saxophone and he would play that thing. He fell in love with, um, of course, Charlie Parker. And um, I looked at that saxophone. I saw notes from the top to the bottom all over that saxophone. So I said, that's too hard for me. And then I saw a picture of a trumpet with three, I thought it was just three notes. It was really three valves. And I said, maybe I'll learn to play the trumpet. But of course, it has just as many notes because if you hit um, uh, one valve, like F, you, you'd be playing F, you'd be, be playing a B flat with it. If you add a second valve, it'd be D. Uh, and uh, it could be A as well. So that was deceptive. I just thought it was three notes. But it, at least the deception and the naivete uh, and the influence of my brother Norman um, really led me to um, get into music. Of course, my mother uh, grew up, her uncle uh, Dave and other uh, relatives were musicians as well. My mother sang, but she didn't do, well, she would hum around the house, but she loved uh, to play, um, you know, Billy Holiday, Sarah Vaughan, and people like that. So that was a, a culture in the home. Um, I guess um, the only time I really, I mean, of course, I have to skip a couple of years. Um, um, I was not an outgoing person in the first place. Uh, my mother would go to dances. We were, we were too young to do that anyway, but um, it was not so much my interest to do that. But I know she loved um, people like Jean Ammons, and I remember um, the last, I think it was the last memory, she had planned to go see Jean Ammons play, and uh, Jean Ammons became ill and then Jean Ammons passed away. So she would go out for dances and things like that, but um, I never went to any a musical event with her, per se. Excuse me, I did want to say one other thing too. Uh, uh, before college, I mean, I would never have gone to uh, college had it not been for um, the, uh, the trumpet, but also the piano. When we moved out of the ghetto, we moved into another place, um, kind of a semi-ghetto, but much better place. And there was a, a musician. I didn't know how great he was at the time. His name was John Patton. He came to my mother's house. He taught me to play some blues. 
on the piano. I picked it up in about six months, and then I started playing with Lee Brown and Thomas Bibb's band. I was 17 years old. So um, that really was um, so much accelerated because um, thanks to Mr. Leo Davis, I mentioned him later on in the interview. He was my music teacher. Uh, I think I became about the second best trumpet player in Kansas City because I made the All City Orchestra. My cousin, uh, Marshall Hunt, was the best. But I switched to piano, and in six months I was playing in the nightclubs with um, uh, Thomas Bibb's band, Lee Brown's band. She asked me one thing. She, she said, I, I mean, I had, I had to ask her, could I go? Again, uh, it was uh, Thomas Bibbs and uh, Lee Brown. They were the musicians that had the band. They wanted me to play with them in the nightclubs. And so I had to get permission from my mother. And uh, she said only one thing to me. She said, uh, promise me you don't get into uh, drinking anything. Mm -hmm. That was an easy promise to keep because um, I had no interest in drinking nor smoking. And the nice thing about it, when uh, I did get into the clubs, you know, we have the uh, intermission and uh, we'd be sitting at the table and then the bartender would come and uh, ask me what I would want. And then the musician, Lee Brown and Thomas Bibbs, they would say, oh, no, no. Uh, a Coke for him or a 7-Up for him. So they looked out for me as well, the, uh, the two band leaders. So uh, uh, there's a man uh, that who was our counselor, Dr. Wheeler, Robert Wheeler, came to me about the last week of high school and asked me, did I want to go to college? And I was uh, you know, confused. I said, college? I'm I thought that was for um, rich people. Uh, I had no preparation to go to college. He, I said, why would I go to college? He said, well, you can go to study music. So I was reluctant. Um, you know, once you think you finished high school that you, you have enough education. I mean, I, I didn't know any better. But he arranged for me to go to uh, Lincoln University on a scholarship, so I accepted it. So that, it was really um, music uh, that got me to college, the music scholarship, thanks to Mr. Leo Davis, my band teacher, and Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Robert Wheeler, who was a counselor at um, Manuel High School. The thing about band, it, 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 it taught me music. You know, we played the John Philip Susie marches uh, I mean, you have to learn music to do that. And Mr. Leo Davis was the only high school teacher, to my knowledge, that was teaching also, uh, we call it harmony or theory. Uh, that's where you learn chords and other things like, things like that. So he was a great, great teacher. I realize that now. So he gave me my musical background. And so when I started playing, playing the piano with uh, John Patton, um, I, of course, as a piano player, you have to learn the chords. So I, um, I had a background to um, understand what a chord was. Um, you know, what is an F major chord? What's F, F major seven? Well, it's F, A, C, E, natural. If you uh, flatten the E natural to uh, E flat, that's an F seven chord. If you flatten the third to uh, A flat, that's an F minus seven chord. You learn all the basic chords and um, that's what uh, jazz music or other types of music is built on. So I got that foundation just by um, being uh, a member of Mr. Leo Davis' marching band and he being a good teacher as well. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for music, I would have flunked out of high school to make it uh, plain and simple. That's what kept me in high school.